Hey, it's David Sheen from AOL. I'm at the Razorfish Client Summit in Vegas, speaking to some super sharp people across technology, brands and the agency. We're diving into the central theme here of convergence. Convergence between media, technology and creativity. Hanging out with Yale Cohen, CEO of Fuck Cancer. Um, thanks for spending some time with me. We're at the Razorfish Client Summit. What they're talking about here particularly is convergence to the idea of technology, creativity, media converging like a pancake as opposed to a, you know, silos of an organization. Do you think it's a theory at the moment or is it in practice? I think it's in practice with some, some you know, thought leaders and industry leaders are finding really interesting ways and creative ways to let their audience engage with their product or company um, in the digital space in a way that's, that's more meaningful and, and interesting mm. to the consumer. How are you practicing sort of convergence in your organization or, or, or are you, I guess? We're digital. We build in the digital space and we use tools like celebrities and humor and wit um, mm. to allow our community to engage with content that sometimes is, is threatening or scary or confusing. How your organization was, was started is all about the story. And you're still folding story into, into what it is that you do? Is, it, is that central to your thing? We're storytellers. And a big part of what we do is, is telling our community stories or teaching them how to, to tell their own stories mm. in a way that we haven't really been taught socially yet. You know, the cancer space and the cancer experience is pretty heavily censored and prescribed. Yeah. And so when we start having a more authentic dialogue and, and storyline around the experience, people can, can process it in a different way. How have you brought in humor to that? To that? to that subject, because that's part of what you do as well, isn't it? Yeah, humor's been a fundamental um, you know, core value of the organization. I think letting people have an authentic experience, whatever that may be, was really important. And you know, humor not only lets people really feel how they're going to feel, and there's parts of cancer that are really funny, and there's parts that are so <laughs> uncomfortable or weird or awkward that all you can do is laugh. And when you've lost your sense of humor, you've really lost it all. But yeah. it also, in, you know, from an early detection or prevention side has allowed us to let people joke about content they might not talk about. You know, some of the earliest warning signs of cancer are seemingly benign or highly embarrassing and people don't want to talk about them. Mm -hmm. But when we let them joke about them, you know, it opens the, the door to conversation and education. How are you building longevity into, into your approach? We have overarching strategies and everything we do fits into that one thing builds on the next or it primes the, our community for what we're going to give them next or build for them next. Um, and it's making sure that we are effective and we're not just cool. Yeah, well, we can't wait to see what you do next. And Yale, thanks so much for spending some time with us. Thank you. Take care. See you.